Yo, what up, fishing fam? Stucci on the bank, back with another video. Uh, yesterday, I uploaded my first hand-tied jig, which was a kind of borderline success. I like the the results. Uh, fished it, didn't catch a fish, but I did mention that we are in the fall transition up here in the north, and uh, I should probably be following some sort of shad pattern, anything at this point. And uh, maybe that'll increase my chances of uh, landing a fish. So I've had this spinner bait for a little while and uh, the skirt, you know, the old rubber just dried out, snapped off. So I've been left with this for the, the longest time and I've been wanting to uh, kind of refurbish it and make it a little bit more towards my liking. I find that a lot of spinner baits are like white chartreuse, uh, somewhere along the lines of that. This thing was just like neon green, so it's just, I, have, I already have other spinner baits that are like that, so since this is kind of falling apart, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more shad like. So, looking at this spinner bait, uh, you can see that there's kind of this raised part right here, like a little cheek. It's not even like a gill plate because of its positioning. It's, I don't know. And the, the eyes are also raised just a bit. So, I have these uh, kind of gold eyes that I want to put on there. So what I'll end up doing is uh, taking the file here and just smoothening these out so it's kind of like just like a nice flat profile on both sides. And uh, that'll give me a surface to paint afterwards. Uh, so I won't be filing this down on camera. I'm just gonna, you know, cut right to it, like, and uh, get right down to the painting. So, here we go. All right, so I have all my original paint stripped off, and uh, side note, if I haven't apologized for the uh, construction noise that's happening right across the road, uh, I'm gonna do that now, so sorry for that. Uh, so, all original paint stripped off. I have this filed down to the profile that I like. I have some tape, kinda taping up my blades so they don't touch the actual jig head when I'm painting it. I have already tried using some like white nail polish. Uh, didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. I wanted like a nice even coat. So I'm going to take this out back, spray paint it white, uh, maybe give it like two or three coats. And then I'm going to kind of go in with like little highlights with the actual other colors of nail polish, glue on some eyes, give it a clear coat and skirt it up, so come back for that. <laughs> All right, so I have the head of this uh, spinner bait painted out, and uh, well, I also have a little bit of the blades painted via spray paint, so that's just something I'm gonna deal with, and uh, maybe appreciate the little subtle uh, variation in paints on the blades or whatnot, or at least the pattern on the blade, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Two coats of white, uh, like I said, the nail polish did not work out as well as I thought for a base coat. It just clumps, it globs, it doesn't go on nice and smooth like spray paint does. So I just went with the spray paint. So uh, referencing a Threadfin Shad pitcher that I found, I noticed that there is kind of like a brownish back uh, from the, the top going down to the tail and working uh, down the side of the body it's like a kind of a blue and purple pearl uh, kind of a yellowish chartreuse after that and then your kind of base color white or silver uh, and then a little bit of a light blue to a white belly uh, so I'm going to try to replicate that as closely as possible um, with at least like the paint schematic and then we'll move on to the skirt which will be I don't know something that kind of carries over that that uniform look so without any uh, further ado let's see what I have here uh, I don't have a brown per se for the head so I might just kind of work with uh, I think like a blue glitter just like a light little layer and then I might go in with a maybe even just stick with that see how it looks maybe even throw in like a little bit of like a kind of a pearl blue 
and uh, some silver. Taking another look at that picture, around the head it doesn't seem to have any of that uh, blue color. So maybe we're gonna go with, uh, well, let's just take a look, see here. What does that look like? Kind of a nice, uh, yeah. It's like mainly kind of like a silver color around the head, so I'm just gonna shake this up and, uh, and give her a go. I'm just gonna run a, basically just a line of silver across the top of the head right to the tip and uh, just start with that. Looking at the picture, I notice that there's like a little bit of blue that starts to develop around the gill plate and behind the uh, the eye. So I'm going in with a little bit of blue to where I think the gill plate will be. I really like those brush strokes. Just try to even it out. And there we are, a little bit of blue. A little heavy with the blue. Maybe that's all right. Okay, so I took the liberty to, while off camera, to go and spray in a little bit more white so it kind of blends. I didn't want uh, hard lines necessarily, uh, so I still wanted like a little bit of blue. Um, but not a whole lot. I'd say this side turned out a little bit better than this one, but at the same time, I just kind of want to get this done and over with. So looking back at the uh, the photo of the Threadfin Shad, there is kind of like a darker like brown or an olive color that starts at the back or the spine of the fish. So I'm gonna try my best to not go too heavy on adding that little detail. So it kind of goes from like a silver head to this darker color. All right, I uh, got the shakes. Nervous. And I think that'll just about do it for, uh, for the head. I will uh, glue in some eyes, give it a clear coat, and yeah, we'll move on to skirting this thing up, hopefully making it look nice, and uh, going out and fishing with it. All right, so everything's dried up well enough. I can uh, glue in some eyes. So this is the, the finicky part. One drop, I'm just gonna throw it right there. So that looks pretty good. One good little daub. And uh, taking a quick look at this side. It's about so far from the top. There is a little bit of wiggle room for adjusting, so I'm just gonna drop this on. Yeah, pretty good. I'm happy with that. There is one last detail, and that is putting a little shad spot on there. And we're just gonna take black and I'm just gonna put a little drop on there Ooh, okay plenty of time has passed by these uh, little gill spots have cured up quite well although at this point I am NOT satisfied with uh, how I kind of when over sprayed the white over that blue where it's kind of still very blue on this side, not so much on this side. So what I'm gonna do is tape off parts that I don't want painted and I'm just gonna go in there with a brush 
flick a little bit of uh, blue and some maybe some uh, glitter, some blue glitter, just to kind of spice it up a bit. And then I'm gonna go over it with a clear coat, move on to the, the skirt, so on and so forth. All right, so I got everything taped off as much as I would like. And uh, you know, depending on the angle that I go at, I might get some up here, but to avoid that, I'm just gonna be painting it kind of that way, or at least flaking it or flicking the, the spray that way. Uh, so, I'm just gonna give this a quick shake. Pour a bit out. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, I got some paper to give it a test run here. See if the concept works. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> you can't even probably see it. It just barely flakes on. Okay, that might actually be good. So I can kind of go hard and still not mess too much up. All right, so taking a look, kind of like that, not too bad. Nice little speckle flake in there, some shimmer. Doesn't take away too much from the white that I can tell. I'm gonna do the same to the other side and uh, go right into clear coating this thing. That's how it turned out, not too bad. I actually like that, so a lot better than what it was before. Uh, going right into the clear coat. I'm going to apply it generously and just let any of the excess kind of drip off. Uh, at this stage, I'm not going to be too worried about uneven layers, so on and so forth, as long as it's got good coverage. I'll be pretty happy with that. Might even go with like two, two layers just to protect the paint underneath. I guess the next segment will be getting right to the chase of uh, putting a skirt on this thing, which is probably the most fun part. But I guess uh, the whole process has been kind of kind of fun. So back into Jiffy. All right, going over the skirts, I have five strands of like green pumpkin with black in there for variation running along the spine. I have a little bit of this uh, kind of like pearl blue, which you see in a lot of like sexy shad patterns. Uh, referring to the image, there is kind of like a blue sheen uh, on the back, as well as like a little bit of purple mixed in. I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice. This does look like a, a blue. I can uh, assure you that it is like kind of a great purple with uh, black spots in there. So I'm going to blend those two and hopefully get a little bit of a variation in there. Uh, moving down to the side of the body, I have some, uh, well, chartreuse. It uh, is the only chartreuse I really have. I have this like neon green. It doesn't really do uh, the chartreuse bit that as well. So I'm just gonna maybe grab a bundle of these and tie it in. Uh, and then lastly, I have this pearl with, uh, I don't know, black flake, black and gold flake in there, but it's uh, definitely a pearlescent. It has this like little sheen to it in the light. So that's kind of nice. I believe there's about like 50 strands here and uh, the rest of it's like around five or six strands. So let's get into it. All right, so I have my, my bobbin and thread. This will literally be the first time I've ever done anything of this sort, but based on what uh, I've seen other people do, you kind of start with like a wee bit of a base layer until it can basically hold its own. That's good. Uh, I might have to run and grab another pair of scissors if this doesn't do the trick. Booyah. I'm not exactly sure how, because I'm so new to this, uh, like how to blend my skirts, like to get the effect that I want. I want to basically blend in my pearl with all the other colors. Uh, so I believe, <laughs> loosely put, I believe that I'm gonna use this as a base layer and then tie in all the other colors at the very end. So they all kind of blend. There's not really a prominent color of any sort. I want like, you know, 
the shad idea to be like very much like a white overall but with accents of other colors so I'm gonna start by uh, just kind of putting this into place and uh, just doing a few wraps to hold that into place I'm extremely nervous about this <laughs> if you hadn't noticed so loosely put, there's uh, my white base. Whew. Yeah, seriously nervous. Okay. I just want this to turn out super nice. As I'm sure everybody who, you know, does something of their own craft, they want the outcome to look really nice. So I'm assuming once this kind of bends back, this will be on the outside for the most part once I cut the tabs. So I'm just gonna go over one more. Make sure we got some on the bottom as well. All right, happy with that. So next would be my chartreuse. Just gonna snip this old band here. All right, so I'm gonna do six strands of chartreuse on either side well actually quite literally on both sides so i'm just gonna match up where halfway is gotta put that into place do the same for the other side all right give that a couple wraps uh, now for purple. So I'm just gonna do one wrap, just to kind of hold it in place. And uh, work the, the skirts to where I want them to be. There we go. And blue in the same, basically the same spot. Another couple wraps, and lastly, uh, the green pumpkin for the spine. All right, so this is where I can start to get real tight with this, since uh, this is the end. six wraps I'll probably go over this again with uh, some floral wire just to make sure because I can't be I can't be trusted with these knots all right like this whole knotting process whatever that I see people doing they're uh, with their fun like the finishing knot this is rookie moves over here so apologies if you are uh, a fly tire <laughs> and you're watching this and it's like, this kid's got it all wrong. <laughs> like I said, it's my first time. Cut me some slack. All right, so I have my floral uh, wire here, just like a little small piece of 26 gauge. So I'm just gonna give this a couple wraps over. My hand tie. Lastly, we will Kind of twist it up, nice and snug. It ain't going anywhere. We'll just uh, clip off and leave like three millimeters or so of wire. It's not going to hurt. Just bend it down, out of place or just out of the way. There we are. All right, not too shabby, not too shaddy. Yeah. All right, we'll just cut off these little tabs here, and that little ends. All right, so here's the, the final product. I think it turned out pretty well. 
the color blend is pretty much exactly what I was going for. Uh, so I guess the only thing left to do is put it to the test and take it fishing. Yeesh. All right. Back in business, baby. Thankfully, we are out of the wind. You have the bridge behind me just blocking a lot of that out. Water is lightly stained. Gonna burn this subsurface. Oh no, that must have been some weeds. That had to have been weeds. There's no way that was a bite. That might have just been a bite. Yeesh. Yo, what up, ducko? Lucky ducks. I don't mind. Oh. The swarm of geese. Yep. We all. Heck yeah. Ooh. Let's go, bud. Not a chonker, but a bass nonetheless, bud. Beauty, mate. All right, please don't cut my hand. Just went for it. That did not take long at all. Digging this uh, the shad pattern, custom custom skirt, everything. Heck yeah, that's pounder at best. But thank you for playing. I kind of tore a huge hole in his mouth. I'm very sorry about that. Got a little excited there. He felt a little bit heavier than I thought, but mwah, thank you for playing. Got to kiss the fish and give him a nice. Nice proper release and a let go there, bud. There you go. Heck yeah. All right. Taking one last look at this. It worked. Couldn't be happier. All right, that is it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, looking back, this whole process has been quite the learning curve. You know, trying to lay down like a white, like base coat with nail polish that just came out clumpy, didn't want that. Switch over to spray paint and how to layer the colors and uh, the colors in the skirts. Tying it all together and uh, finally fishing it, but it, in the end it worked out. So I couldn't be happier and uh, I look forward to making more kind of like jig or lure refurbishing videos. And if that's something you're interested in, uh, feel free to throw down a subscribe and uh, tag along for the journey. I'll see you in the next vid.